gentleman just walked in our studio that I am meeting for the first time as well as you. This is WFA-TV in Dallas, Texas. May I have your name, please, sir? My name is Abraham Zapruder. Mr. Zapruder? Zapruder, yes, sir. Zapruder. And would you tell us your story, please, sir? I got out in, uh, about a half hour earlier and get into a good spot to shoot some pictures. And I found a spot, one of these uh, concrete blocks that I have down near that park near the underpass. And I got on top there, there was another girl from my office, she was right behind me. <clears throat> and as I was shooting, as the president was coming down from Houston Street making his turn, it was about halfway down there, I had a shot. And he uh, slumped to the side, like this. Then I had another shot or two, I couldn't say what it was, one or two. And I saw his head practically open up, all blood and everything, and I kept on shooting. That's about all. I'm just sick. I can't. I think that pretty well expresses the yeah. entire feelings of Terrible. the whole world. Terrible. You have the film in your camera. We'll try yes, to get... I brought it on the studio now. We'll try to get that processed and have it as soon as possible. Right uh, now, we have video. I see now the picture where I was. I was right on that uh, concrete block, as I said. And as I explained before, it was a sickening scene. At first, I thought perhaps it's a. Uh, it sounded like somebody make a joke. You hear a. Uh, a shot and somebody grabs their stomach. I was about a hundred yards away from uh, one of our other, the Bo and I walked over to see President Kennedy. We were about a hundred yards away and it sounded like there were three shots and after the first couple I said, uh, uh, my God, uh, they shot the President. And then we walked over and looked down and could see the people on the grass there and I imagine you were one of the people that we saw there mm -hmm. was, uh, was, underneath uh, the viaduct. This. Uh, uh, this happened this afternoon about, uh, what time, 12.35, the president died at, Some like it, the president died at 1 o'clock. They sounded like, uh, at first they sounded like firecrackers, and somebody <clears throat> next to us said they're shooting off fireworks, but then we realized, uh, it didn't take but a minute to realize that they were uh, loud reports, and for those of you who are familiar with hearing a rifle shot, it was uh, a recognizable sound. The videotape that we have. Bobby, what do you have now? Okay, the, that is, that completes the videotape coverage for the moment. We will have film back um, in about 15 minutes of the arrest of a person who could be the person who shot the policeman or the Secret Service man or Conley or President Kennedy and we'll have that in just a moment. Now let's go back to ABC in New York. Uh, Bert. Let's see. Let's get reorganized here. Grab that cable over there. We're on the air, Bert, and let's talk to him. Both of them are still alive when I left the hospital. He has some film. And, uh, yeah, I have film you at the hospital. you get the film and see if you can get it developed real quick? Yeah, and we'll I will. On the air. And over there would have almost had the whistle by his ear. Mr. Zapruder, when we interviewed him here, tended to agree that the no was not involved. I'm not a uh, ballistic expert, but I believe that there was shots that come from uh, my right ear. I would hear a different sound. I heard shots coming from, I wouldn't know which direction to say, but it was proven from the... Uh,